I've got Xbox on iOS, or is it iOS on Xbox? Either way, it's in my hand. This week, Microsoft made available cloud gaming in your browser and on iOS, as long as you are part of the Cool Kids group. And unlike in high school, I actually was this time. And Microsoft sent me an invite, and if you look back on this video, you'll see the xCloud or cloud gaming experience in your browser. But today, we're talking about Microsoft's Xbox cloud gaming service on iOS, because it's a little bit different than your traditional uh, browser running or whatever because of Apple and their App Store policy. So the way this works is that if you are part of that invite group, you go to xbox.com slash play, and the experience will light up. And then you click the little share button down on the bottom of Safari and hit add to home screen. And then you are up and running with cloud gaming on your iOS device. Now, there's a couple things to note here because I did a, a an over the camera or over the shoulder shot of what I was playing. And so I played a bunch of different games. I played Minecraft, Dungeons, uh, Killer Instinct, Forza, and then ended with Gears of War. And you might see that the games kind of go in and out of focus just a little bit, but they're much more clear in person. I was really trying to highlight the ability of the controller input versus the latency on the display because that is important. Other caveats is that at one point there was a warning from Xbox saying, hey, your connectivity was a little weak and there are some frame rate stutters. That being said, my connectivity in my house is really good. It's a gig down, 250 up, and I have really strong connectivity where I was recording this. So I'm not quite sure where the hiccup was. I'm just sort of getting that out of the way. The other thing to keep in mind is that, hey, this is early. I'm in the first wave of adoption. Microsoft just rolled this out this week. I would expect the experience to improve, especially as Microsoft gets feedback and learns more. All that being said, running through this, I'm using a backbone. You might've seen these things before, but it sort of turns your iPhone and device into any, like a Nintendo Switch style experience. I'll have an actual review of the peripheral next week. But for this video, what you're seeing is an over the shoulder shot. And so it, it's really, it, it portrays the experience pretty well, I think. And, and the short version is, if you don't want to watch all this, I think you should jump to the conclusion, maybe, is or whatever, is that Minecraft Dungeons, a really good experience. Would recommend that to just about anybody. As you work through the narrative here of Killer Instincts, it's a button masher. Latency, not as noticeable. But again, it's not as good as Minecraft Dungeons, but it I think it's still acceptable. Then you move on to Forza Horizon, and it's not as good as I actually thought it would be. The latency becomes real apparent when you're trying to take turns, and so I eventually had to look pretty far ahead and start my turning experience or, into the corner, obviously, uh, well ahead of actually getting there. And once you figure that out, it is ex like doable, but I don't know if most people are going to do it. I definitely couldn't compete like in an actual race in this sort of setup. And then we end with Gears of War, and I'll just tell you right now, Gears of War just doesn't work. And that that's somewhat to be expected. So you can watch through the video here. You can see the text from my mom that I blocked out come through. That being said, here's the clip, and we'll catch you on the backside for a little bit of a wrap up.
Okay, now that you have seen the experience on iOS, there's a couple things just to keep in mind. As an overarching theme, this is still early, uh, but I'm more optimistic than I think pessimistic. At least for the first generation, I suspect that the theme will most likely be that, hey, like uh, top-down side-scrolling games work phenomenally. Games like Ori, games like Minecraft Dungeons, really good experiences on here. First-person shooters, it's not quite there yet. Uh, I would love to see Microsoft get there really, really quickly, but that last 10% is exceptionally harder than the first 90, and so it's going to be a journey to get there. The other thing to keep in mind, too, is that Microsoft, at least as of right now, doesn't explicitly sell cloud gaming as a product. It's just a feature of Game Pass Ultimate. Now, um, there might be some people who go out there and pay 15 bucks to get this experience because they want access to Xbox content through the browser or something like that. That might occur, and you can't rule it out. But as of right now, I already play on my console. Like, I was playing Banjo-Kazooie up in the browser uh, a couple days ago, and it just kind of it reignited that childhood, and it was a good experience. Like, that type of a gaming model, I think, is where it's at right now. It's not the, it's not the product. It's just a feature, which is a really good thing for Microsoft. Also, I'm more optimistic that, hey, we're getting, like, actual Xbox content onto a mobile device here. Obviously, it's been working uh, on Android, and now it's on iOS, which Microsoft has saying this unlocks or opens up a potential 3 billion additional people who could you know access Xbox content that may not have had that opportunity before. All that being said, it's still early, it's still teething, and we still need to get through some initial hiccups. As you saw in that video, first-person shooters just don't work. There were definitely some graphical hiccups, there's definitely some audio hiccups, but it's early on. If Microsoft can truly perfect this model and get everything nice and, and clean and streaming pretty well, I think there's a really bright future here. And I think Microsoft knows that they can get there, it's just a matter of time. Um, you know, I, I, I keep saying I'm more optimistic, mostly because I think the future is going to be much better than what we have today. Today, it works in certain games work really well, but not all the games. It's not a holistic gaming streaming experience. That being said, it's early days. So if you want to track that journey along with me, if I'm going from, you know, certain types of games work to all games, make sure to keep it subscribed here because the only BS on this channel is me.